Hello everybody and welcome to Vendor Vintage Guitars again. Music means thing great today. So I promised I was gonna come out with something different from a P bass, and I did because I don't have one of them today. There's two of them. Okay, so we have a pre-earnable one and we have an earnable one. Okay, I picked the 92, so most of the features on this bass is still very similar to this. So lacquered neck, so you can see the finished neck and something that changed in 1993 they stopped finishing their neck and you know they, they use a oil rubbed finish okay um and then still has the bone nut okay like the old one and yeah very very similar but there is differences so the main difference of course is the sound that you can get from a two band eq and a three band eq okay the vintage one is two where it changed in 1987 to a 4, okay? High mass bridge looks identical, but the main difference is the vintage one run through the body, where from, I believe, we're talking 83, 84, they discontinue that feature, okay? Battery covers are the same, still metal, and that changed in 94, and then we have a much better six strings screw plate neck plate on the newer one where the vintage one had like that sort of 370s three screws neck plate which is prone to shift left and right so this is a much a, a better uh, a better screw plate a better system and and i actually like it more but you know i never had problem with my 77 belly cart okay belly cart on the new one slab slab on the 77 okay um, and of course one says music man with the other one says Ernie ball okay but everything else is the same weight wise this one's much lighter and I experienced that when Ernie ball took over in 84 85 they bases were very light where in the 70s most of them they're pretty solid okay I mean yes I know there's a belly cut there so cut a little bit trim a bit of edge that's not enough to justify the extra weight. So they use very solid ash in those early days. And well, that's probably why they are so snappy and resonate so good. Okay, so this is one of my favorite bases, if not my favorite. All right, so that's enough talk for today. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a play for you. Thank you. 
What's your favorite one? The variable or the pre variable ones? I like them both, okay? They both have an incredible time and it's a really good bass if you know how to blend it. Now it's active, might be a little noisier than a P bass, of course, but this is the first mass-produced active bass ever. So, and again, it comes from Leo Fender. I mean, at least part of the design comes from Leo. So, you know, another, Another great machine made by Mr. Fender. All right, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like it, and come back for more content. Thanks.